This masking tape I'm using is 3M2060 high adhesion masking tape. It's meant to be uh, used on on cementious surfaces like brick, cinder blocks, that kind of thing. Uh, the reason I'm using this is that it's also resistant to lacquer. So it's got some benefits as far as being uh, chemically resistant. I don't want to put it next to the door casing on the sheetrock because after three days it'll possibly tear the sheetrock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around with either one inch, this happens to be inch and a half, you could use one inch half of tape uh, to put down first next to the door casing you plan on stripping or window casing, whatever you want to be stripping. You can put it on first like this and then you put your masking right over that tape. Regular painter's masking tape does not adhere as much as this green tape. So you're protecting your sheetrock. And you have to protect your sheetrock because if you get paint stripper on your sheetrock, it'll destroy it. So what you want to do is you want to butt the green tape up against the casing like this. And you're going to want to you're going to want to tab the ends with regular masking tape, like that. And you are good to go. We're going to remove paint from this door casing. And there's a, a few things to consider before we put the paint stripper on. Uh, we're going to have to protect the floor. We're going to have to protect the sheetrock before we uh, put any paint stripper on this door casing. So what we're going to do is we're going to, it's, it's best to uh, almost do an overkill when it comes to this. Uh, I'm going to put a piece of masking film down first. And uh, this is the same masking film that we use to uh, cover our door with. So that's the first thing we're going to do to protect our floor. We're going to make sure it's going all the way under. Okay. So, just got that. And depending on the size of the door casing, we're going to want to put our masking paper, which we're going to use like a paper towel on top of the plastic. The plastic is just going to add more protection benefits and this is going to absorb any paint stripper that might fall. And I'm not using drop cloths because I don't want I don't want to ruin my, my nice drop, drop cloth with uh, paint that's loaded with paint stripper. This paper is disposable, so this is the way I like to do it. So this is a masking machine. This is what we're going to use to protect the floor and the sheetrock. And this is a special kind of paper also. This, this green paper is also chemically resistant. I tried this out uh, with the big dollop on top of the paper, let it sit for 24 hours, and it was a little bit moist on the bottom. So what I'm going to do on the horizontal surface, the floor, is to double that up. So this is how a masking machine works. You pay out the amount of paper you want, pair it, and you're good to go. So, I'm going to butt it up against the door casing. And since it's a horizontal surface, and we have a good chance of the paint strippers sagging onto our floor, 
we're going to double it up. Now when I apply this paint stripper, I'm going to make sure that it's not pooling down, down into this crack. That's not what we want. We want to remove the paint. We don't want any on the floor. One, two, two layers of protection. This paper is really cheap, so it's best to use when you're, when in doubt, just use it. <laughs> you don't want to damage our floor. This paint stripper is not meant for sheetrock or linoleum surfaces or any kind of rubber or anything like that. So that looks good. There's a little corner right here. I'm just going to overkill it. Put two pieces down like so. I'm going to do the inside edge. All right. So I'm not going to roll this on. I'm going it's a small it's relatively a small area that we're going to be stripping the paint from. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to work from the bottom to the top. Okay? I'm going to make pay special attention that uh, the paint stripper does not pull down near the floor. We don't want paint just sitting on top of our masking paper here. Okay. And I'm going to try to put it on fairly heavily. And we're going to let it sit for about 24 hours. Okay. I've got a little dollop of, of stripper on my, my tape. I want to wipe that up. Okay, I'm just going to get a dry paper towel. Make sure that I don't have any strippers resting on the tape. I'm just going to wipe it just to be safe. And I think we're going to be just okay. Now, this paint stripper can be kind of fumey. If you are objecting to the smell and you want to help contain the odor throughout your house when you're stripping something, I would suggest using the masking film. This stuff unfurls to nine feet. Okay. And you can place it right over your work. This will help prevent your house from getting fumed up by the, uh, the paint stripper. If you wanted to go even further, you could seal the edges of the masking film and completely contain the odor. But I think this is going to be good enough. All right, it's time to get the paint off this door casing. This particular paint stripper is made by Fiberlock. It's Prana 4. It's been on this casing. Uh, I put one coat on it. Uh, it's been dwelling for about 48 hours, two days. And let's see how it worked. Well, this is really cool. I pushed this plastic in here because I didn't, uh, I didn't want the uh, fumes to go throughout the house. So it's actually helped me remove the paint stripper. That was pretty cool. 
So this is one heavy coat. This home was built in 1960. This is a mid-century modern house and the, uh, the paint is coming off, it appears, with one coat of paint stripper. These areas are kind of hard to get with the putty knife, so I'm just going to use my wire brush to remove the paint from the crevice of this molding. This is coming off quite easily. All right, I got paint strip around the corner that I want to remove. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip all of this paint off this door casing and then I'm going to give it a cleaning with some soapy water and it'll be done. So I've got the door casing cleaned up of the paint stripper and I've got a little bit of uh, water on the to go ahead and paint the, uh, the casing. So what I'm going to do is there might be some paint stripper on this masking. I'm going to remove it. Okay. And uh, I don't want any chance of that paint stripper soiling the floor. So I'm going to remove just the paper and I'm going to remask the casing and get it ready for painting. All right, I'm just putting some fresh masking down. I don't need to double it up this time. We're just going to paint. And the reason I did that is I wasn't quite sure if there was paint stripper on the masking paper. So I'm playing it safe. I'm just replacing it with brand new fresh masking and this is now ready to paint. In conclusion I'd like to uh, share some thoughts and ideas on the paint strippers that we tested uh, in the video. This, uh, this Back to Nature Multi-Strip Advanced uh, I'd like to uh, give the letter grade an A. Uh, it, it, it's available at Rada Paints, it's uh, in Kennewick at least, and it's also available at the Home Depot. It comes in different size containers, so the packaging's good. You can get a small amount or a large amount. Uh, if you live in an area where you can get American Building Restorations products, uh, they make a very good paint stripper. The grip and strip is is uh, is a very good paint stripper. It uh, it contains sodium hydroxide, so be aware that it does darken the wood a bit. But if you're going to paint it, that's not a big deal. Uh, also, the citrus uh, formula that American Building Restoration makes is also a very good paint stripper. You will not be disappointed. Uh, the only problem is, is if you live in the Northwest, they really don't have a distributor nearby, so you will have to pay uh, some amounts in shipping. The Prana 4 by Fiberlock uh, was the most aggressive paint stripper that we tested. This only comes in five gallon containers, and I would highly recommend this paint stripper if you have a lot of doors, if you're going to bake all the paint in your home or something like that, and you need a lot of paint stripper, uh, you will not go wrong choosing this. This product is sold uh, 
uh, by Rada Paints. You can order it if they don't have it. Uh, it's a very good paint stripper. So if you had a lot of uh, if you had a lot of doors or something like that you're stripping, you could certainly buy buy gallons of this. And if you just had uh, maybe a door or something like that left, you could go ahead and buy a small amount of the multi strip advanced. So at the three paint strippers that I, I ended up using on the door, all of these paint strippers worked effectively. I was able to apply two coats of paint stripper only and it seemed to abate all the paint from the store. So I hope you learned something from my video and I appreciate you watching. I'll see you on the next one.